Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ashley and we've got Eva. But don't just sit there, puppies. Come on, on your feet. We're going to play a wee game called Grandmother's Footsteps. What did I hear? Oh, oh, they're very good, they're very still. <gasps> Who's moving? Let's see if I can catch you moving. <laughs> well done, my girls, that was brilliant. Well, we've got Ashley and we've got Eva, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh yes, it's Lisa <laughs> with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> and Lisa, come on, we three high five. Big hero. Jewels of all jewels. <laughs> We've been playing grandmother's footsteps before you got here. Oh, all that behind you. <laughs> Makes me think of the pantomime that Raymond and I are putting on in Drumtown. Oh, of course, your panto. Well, that gives me an idea. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a pantomime dame? <laughs> and we can sit in our seats, dear. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> so, how's your pantomime coming along? Dick Whittington, isn't it? <gasps> That's right. Oh, rehearsals are hilarious. You should see Raymond in his dame's wig. Oh, oh I bet he suits it. He does. And Lisa's just dying to come and see the show. Oh, me too. Now, it's in Drumtown Playhouse, isn't it? That's right. But don't worry about getting there. I'll take you in my taxi with Lisa. Oh, thanks, Poppet. You know, for you and Raymond, all the world's a stage. We just love performing everywhere. Wow, look at Claude. Behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claude. We could have you in our panto dress like that. <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work what? now. <gasps> For me? Oh, it's just a little cat like Dick Whittington's. <laughs> you have fun today. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. See you later. Come on then, Tina. Now remember, all the world's a stage. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, 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 under she's no squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew! Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> The engine sounded funny then. I thought so. There's something wrong. Ah, it's the alternator. Right now, where is my... Oh, there it is. This spare alternator looks a bit old, but it might do the job until I get a chance to buy a new one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, sorry, Tina. You got uh, a problem? Yes, my alternator's broken. I've got the spare one that I can fit, but I don't think it'll last long. Hey, my mate Terry can help you out. 
He works at a university and he knows about everything to do with electrics. I'm sure he can fix your alternator. Oh, that's brilliant. Here you go. Thanks, Mickey right. John. OK. Yeah, shove it in my bag. <laughs> right, I'll be back later. Oh. Bye. Bye. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll get you to Drumtown to see our panto. I'd love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I'd love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Right, we've nearly got our panto picnic finished. What about our beautiful princess? Will we give her a lovely sketch? Yeah. There we are. <laughs> and there's our magic wand. Are you looking forward to seeing Mum and Dad on the stage? Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> Are you working hard, Molly? That's it, all done. What are you doing, my dove? I'm fixing the engine. The alternator went up the spout. Jolly good. But shouldn't you be at the Drumtown Playhouse getting the stage ready for our panto? Yes, I've just popped in to get my wig. Oh, <laughs> of course. But don't worry, I'll be there in plenty of time before you arrive with Granny Murray and Lisa in your taxi. Oh, great. I'll see you there. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> well, now that I've fitted the spare alternator into my taxi engine, it's time I got down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my brain. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. engine still doesn't sound right. Ooh! <laughs> you still here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, love of my life. I was just going over my lines. I'm word perfect. <gasps> That's my boy. But now I must dash to Drumtown. Uh, maybe you should take the wig off first, Raymond. Oh, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> yes. And after I pick up Granny Murray and Lisa, we'll be right behind you. Mwah. I'm going to pick you up at Granny Murray's soon, Lisa. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. <sighs> Mum will be here soon, my darling. She won't be long now, Angel. Don't you worry, Lisa. Mum will be here to pick us up soon. <laughs> Where are you, Mummy? Catastrophe! I got chatting to Chuck in the platform and I've missed my train to Drumtown. Oh, well, don't worry. We can all go over together in my taxi. Granny Murray and Lisa would love to ride with the star of the show. Good thinking. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! The spare alternator has packed up and I haven't had a chance to get a new one. Oh, Mickey John. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Did your friend at university manage to mend my alternator? No. My friend wasn't quite as good as I thought he was. 
He did manage to take your alternator apart, but uh, he couldn't put it back together again. Oh! I am meant to be taking Granny, Murray and Lisa to Drumtown to see the panto, but Raymond's missed his train and now I can't get my taxi to move. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At ten o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. I told her about the panto that Raymond and I were doing later, and I promised Granny Murray that I'd take her to Drumtown for the panto. At eleven o'clock, I got to the garage. But my taxi had a problem with its engine. The alternator was broken. Mickey John called by. He took the alternator away to his friend at the university. Then I fitted a spare alternator to keep my taxi going in the meantime. At 12 o'clock, Raymond came to the garage to find some panto props. At 4 o'clock, I realised I was late to pick up Granny Murray and Lisa. Then Raymond arrived. He had missed his train. So we got into my taxi, but it wouldn't start. And Mickey John's friend hadn't mended the alternator either. So no one can go to Drumtown to see our panto. Now remember, all the world's a stage. All the world's a stage. Well, of course. We can't do the panto in Drumtown, so we'll do it right here in the garage. Right. Mickey John, you go and find Granny Murray and Lisa and anyone else you can round up. Raymond and I will be telling the story of Dick Whittington and his cat right here in the Archer's Theatre. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a short time. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Ladies and gentlemen, the Arches Theatre Company proudly presents Dick Whittington and his cat. Oh, I'm fed up just being a poor orphan boy with nothing to eat. I'm off to London. And I'll make my fortune, or my name's not Dick Whittington. I could do with a kip. <laughs> oh, who's this asleep on my doorstep, poor lad? Oh, I'm Aldermere Fitzwarren. Any work going, Gov? Oh, indeed, you can work in the kitchen. I'll just call my daughter Alice. Alice? <laughs> This, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Alice, this is Dick. He's going to stay in the spare room. Night, night. <laughs> squeak, squeak. Oh! Oh, crumbs! My bedroom's full of rats! First thing tomorrow, I'm going to the shops to buy a cat. Ah! I'd like a cat, please. A pussycat, right? Um, that'll be one penny, please. <laughs> Here, puss, 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 puss. Me, yeah. <laughs> Come on, puss, let's go. Hey, puss, that ship's sailing to Zanzibar. We can have an adventure. All aboard! <laughs> Hello, young man. Welcome to Zanzibar. <laughs> Hello, mush. My land is overrun with rats. Look. Oh. I'm the king of the rats, so watch it. You don't scare me or my cat. Hop it, ratty. Ah, a magi. Oi, maf. Bye, rat face. Will this do? Oh, thanks. Come on, puss. Let's go home and ask Alice to marry me. Me now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dick. Any chance of marrying Alice and living happily ever after? Oh, I don't see why not. Oh, Dick, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're ahead, darling. Oh, yes. 
I think this enjoyed it. <laughs> from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. All the world's a stage. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. Let's get you home. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? No, it's a time away. <laughs> And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hacking, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pantomime dame because we were getting ready to go and watch Dick Whittington and his cat. Raymond and Tina were both the stars of the show. A bit later, we sat on the doorstep for ages waiting for Tina to pick us up in our taxi. Then there was a change of plan. Instead of doing the panto in Drumtown, Tina and Raymond made a special stage at the taxi garage and we watched their panto there. Oh, it was really funny. Raymond had to keep changing his costumes. It was lucky that Tina remembered that all the world's a stage. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs> I love to sip and river sea things, go river sea things, go by. I love to sip and river sea things, go river sea things, go that for me. Come on and get on down to the city, <laughs> where the fairy box stands the blue. Tap to call on.